guys. Okay, so today's video is going to be all about Louis. So basically that means this is the best video ever. So yes, only two topics today. One about Louis's new single coming out and the other about his magazine interview. So without further ado, here's the latest news that's been happening in the past couple days. So let's just talk about Back To You for a second. No, we haven't heard the song yet, unfortunately. Louis teased it. And all he said was, new single coming soon. Okay, first of all, that could mean today. That could mean tomorrow. That could mean next week. That could even mean next year. Louis, I need to be prepared, remember? But yes, it is now totally confirmed that the song is with BB Rexa because Louis posted this picture of him and BB and he even added her and Digital Farm Animals. So basically, Digital Farm Animals is like a Steve Aoki. They're the producers and DJ for the track and then BB Rexa will just be collabing with Louis so it'll be his vocals and her vocals and when I saw that the song title was back to you I couldn't help but think of One Direction's old song back for you off their take me home album I, be back for you, back for you. I don't know fetus throwback but Louis says got a good feeling about this one I so happy to hear that Louis is really confident with this single. He's so excited to share it with us and I'm excited as well. But guys, the fact that we're just freaking out about a single, imagine the whole album. We're gonna hear a whole album of Louis Tomlinson's voice. And it's got so popular that Back To You was trending worldwide, which obviously it should be. Louis was also responding to some fans on Twitter and they said, is it a bop or is it a bop? And he says, bit of a bop, not gonna lie. Where is the album? We need the damn album. He says, all in good time. Where is the album? We need the damn album. Is it 7th of July, Louie? He says, nope. We're truly proud of you. We can't wait to hear the single and support you as much as we can. It's a teamwork. He says, thank you, let's do this. Can I go to sleep now? He says, for now, yes. Like, how much time do I actually have to rest and to sleep? And if you guys go to BB Rex's Twitter, she was also talking about the new single with Louie, and she says that he was the nicest person ever. And she also says, my mom and dad love it. So that means that the song is done, it's made, and that also means that it could be released at any time. Have we adopted BB already? Because we already adopted Steve. So guys, I don't know what else to say about this single, but I'm hella excited. I mean, like, Back To You is already my favorite song. It needs to be number one. And I don't even care if I haven't heard the song yet. So this topic is a little bit longer, a little bit more serious. It has a lot of depth to it, and there's a lot I need to cover. So basically, the whole article was very lengthy, so I'm not going to read the whole thing, obviously, and I'm not going to touch upon everything that the article talked about. But there's a few quotes from Louis that really stood out to a lot of the fandom, and that's what I'll be talking about. But before I get into all of that deep stuff, here is a compilation of all the pictures from the magazine. Enjoy. Okay, now that I have blessed your eyes with those pictures, now we can get into the actual interview. So the first page of the article says, In One Direction, Louis Tomlinson was the kid at the back. Now with his first solo album and his own record label, he's taking the spotlight. He tells Tom Lamont how he learned to trust himself. Wow, that little blurb right there just... <laughs> so when Louis was talking about a solo career, he says, I couldn't say to you that I could definitely get a superstar writer in a session with me. And I understand that. Harry won't struggle with any of that. Okay, so first of all, a lot of people were just surprised that Louis said Harry's name and that he even acknowledged him or mentioned him. They're like, wow, Louis is praising Harry. He literally just put him up on this pedestal. But it's kind of sad that Louis doesn't see himself in that light. Like, he's putting himself down. And I really wish Louis would talk about himself like he does the other boys. This says, Louis feels guilty to talk about his wealth and status because he doesn't feel like he fully earned it. Now, that hit me hard. The fact that Louis would ever feel that he doesn't deserve 
what he has or that he hasn't earned it. Like, I can't even fathom that. Like, I don't even know how to explain to Louis right now how much that he has earned what he has. He also says, but when you actually think about how that feels, standing on stage every week thinking, what have I really done to contribute here? Sing a lower harmony that you can't really hear in the mix? That also made me tear up. The fact that Louis saw himself as someone lesser on stage, he felt like he didn't contribute at all to the band. He was just the other fourth member, or at the time, the other fifth member. Like he just saw himself as a shadow in the back. Louis says, the others have always been, like Niall, for example, he's the most lovely guy in the world, happy-go-lucky Irish, no sense of arrogance, and he's fearless. There are times I've thought, I've had a bit of that. Zane back in the day, he could relate to me on a nerves level. In the first year, we were both the least confident, but Zane had a fantastic voice, and for him, it was always about owning that. Liam always had a good stage presence, same as Harry. They've both got that ownership. Harry comes across very cool. Liam's all about getting the crowd going, doing a bit of dancing, and then there's me. Okay, just those last four words of that paragraph, and then there's me, that... <laughs> was too much for me. The fact that Louis feels that way about himself, and then there's me. He just thinks of himself like he's not even important, he's so much lesser. And that is just really sad to hear. The fact that Louis doesn't even know how much he is appreciated, he doesn't even know how much he does make the band greater. His voice does stand out in the band, his voice isn't just a backup harmony. This says, Louis talks highly about Harry, it's literally neither of their fault that their team distinguished between them since the beginning. Yeah, I feel like Louis has always been compared to with the other boys, like his management team has always been like, Louis, why can't you be like the other boys, or you're not as good as them and you're just like a backup person or whatever. He probably felt really degraded and he probably felt like he just wasn't as good. And I don't know how many times in this video I can say that is sad to hear. He deserves so much better than that. But like on a positive note, what I can say is Louis has proved that he can do it. I mean, he released Just Hold On that had just his vocals on it. That got number one. We also did the No Control Project, which Louis appreciated very much. So I hope that we proved to Louis's team, but not only them, but to Louis, that he is important and that he is talented and successful and he is loved by many and that he shouldn't be compared to the other boys. He is his own unique individual person. And because of all this, hashtag Louis we love you was trending on Twitter and to be honest, this should be trending every single day. Louis really needs to be reminded of this. But Louis also needs to know that he has to feel comfortable and confident with himself first, love himself first, before he can expect anybody else to do that. It has to come from him first. We can say all we want all day how he's amazing and all that, but it has to come from him first. He has to believe that himself. He also says, in the last year of One Direction, I was probably the most confident I ever was. And then it was, okay, hiatus. Tomlinson argued against it. He says, when the band first sat down to discuss separation, it wasn't necessarily a nice conversation. I could see where it was going. It sounds to me that a lot of the boys didn't want the hiatus. I remember Niall saying he didn't want to do the hiatus either, but they all just said, okay, we're doing the hiatus. And in my opinion, the hiatus wasn't too bad because they got a break to do solo stuff and prove their individual talents. And Louis got a chance to do Just Hold On and become number one. So I think in that regard, that was a positive thing. But like, I never knew Louis started to feel the most confident once the band said they were gonna go on hiatus. Louis also says, I remember saying to her, mom, how the fuck do you expect me to do this now? And she didn't swear much, my mom. She'd always tell me off for swearing. And this time she was like, you've got to fucking do it. It's as simple as that. It was football manager team talk stuff. That also almost made me cry as well because if you guys think about it, Louis's mom was truly his number one fan. And when she passed, Louis must have felt at his lowest point. He was like, what do I do now? Like, you were the one who believed in me all the time. You were the one pushing me to do things. And now I don't have that person anymore. But she said before she passed, no, you gotta keep going. You gotta do it. And that's what Louis did. He made Just Hold On. So again, Louis proved to her that he can do it, and that is really strong. He says, at Jamie Vardy's wedding of all places, talk about your places for something super traumatic. 
my mom told me, uh, yeah, that she was definitely terminal. Sometimes my reservation or my confidence might have prevented me from doing something, and I've needed a mom in the past to kick me up the arse and go, you're doing it. And you know what? Even though Jay passed, I'm pretty sure she's still up there rooting for Louis, and Louis can still sense that. His mom's support and love will be endless. And also, I found this post on Tumblr, and I thought it was very well worded, and I wanted to share it with you guys. This says, Louis is a very multifaceted person, and we saw a different side in this interview than he usually expresses. I've spoken about this a bunch of times before, but I think Louis often hides his vulnerabilities from fans and puts on a lot of bravado and loud confidence, and that's a part of who he is. But we also know from paying attention to him and from tidbits of what the other boys have said about him that he is also very sensitive, loving, caring, soft, gentle, quiet, and so, so lovely. It's like how we know from the other boys that he's known to be a bit of a crier, but we've never really seen him cry. We've seen him tearing up a few times, but he even tried to get a handle of himself after his X Factor performance, despite the overwhelming pain he must have had feeling at that time. Just because he doesn't usually show this side of himself doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. This was a very vulnerable interview in my opinion, and we haven't gotten much of that from him in the past. And yes, the article pushed a particular underdog narrative, just as all print interviews push a certain narrative but that doesn't make the vast majority of the things he said any less honest. Now, that is something I really wanted to touch upon because I've seen a lot of people on Twitter saying, oh, this interview made Louie look very not confident at all, and they didn't portray his confident side, but I'm just sitting here like, well, what if this is the real Louie? Like, I'm pretty sure everything Louie did say was himself, it was true. We just haven't really seen much of it. Because I think some people were mad that the interviewer showed such a vulnerable side of Louis and they made him seem quote unquote weak. But I think it's okay that they showed the vulnerable side of Louis. I think that was very important to express in the interview because now we know. So in my opinion, I don't think anything they wrote about Louis was fake or contrived. I'm pretty sure Louis did say that and it's not a surprise because I remember in the past Louis did mention how his voice wasn't the best or he felt lesser than the other boys and he kind of felt like a shadow in the back and that was all with X Factor. So some of this is news and some of this is stuff we've actually heard in the past. But really quick before I show you guys something I recorded, can we look at this picture of Louis with the egg on the toast? Doesn't this remind you of this? Thank you Styles, for making me egg on toast every day. Boo London. Now I don't know if these two things correlate. I don't know if Louis had a huge say in what they could photograph for his photo shoot, but like I'm pretty sure everything they photographed meant something to Louis and it was for a purpose, so I think that is an iconic Styles breakfast. I don't know if you guys thought the same thing. But anyway guys, to end this video, I recorded a letter to Louis. And no, I haven't posted it yet. I really would like Louis to see it. Maybe I'll put it on Twitter and you guys can retweet it. But this is just something I wrote for Louis. I wrote it all myself. It came from the heart. It was really deep and heartfelt. And it's all related to how I felt about his interview from The Observer magazine. So enjoy! Louie, after reading your interview in The Observer magazine, I just wanted to give you a hug. To be honest, I feel like you underestimated yourself and didn't give yourself enough credit for how much good you've done, not only for yourself, but for the fans. I want you to know that so many people like myself are so proud of you, and you should feel just as proud of yourself too. If you didn't know, you are appreciated, very much so, and it's a shame if you've never felt that appreciation because you, out of a lot of people, deserve it. Some advice I could give you that has actually helped me with my confidence is don't feel like you have to compare yourself to others. Who's going to be the beautiful, bright-eyed blue boy with the iconic laugh and smile and big heart if he's trying to be everyone else? We can say until we're blue in the face how amazing you are and how you just light up the room when you're in it. But at the end of the day, our words can't change how you view yourself unless you think the same. You have to love and accept yourself first before you can expect others to. After reading the article, it sounded like someone down the line said you weren't good enough or you never would be like the other boys. Understandably, that affected you and how you later on viewed yourself. You had let others determine your self-worth, which in turn has really shattered your self-confidence and how you view yourself, unfortunately. You need to understand that no one is to determine your self-worth. 
People's view of you shouldn't determine how you feel about yourself. Not to assume you've gone through depression, but I know this can make a person feel worthless, alone, empty, and numb. So even if the boys and the fans already told you you're amazing, maybe you just brushed it off and didn't think the same. I digress, I can see you are doing better currently. You came out with your first successful single, and soon you'll be releasing a full album with just your voice on it. How cool and exciting. Now that's something to be proud of. This proves you can make it on your own. You're talented and loved as an individual. People can see this, and everyone who has met you has only had positive things to say about you. Louis, you are your own unique and beautiful person, so don't let anyone compare your talents or who you are in general to anyone else. You've proved time and time again that you're strong and can pull through even when times are hard. If you focus more on what makes you happiest rather than trying to please others, the rest will become easier and fall into place. In conclusion, Louis, all I can say is just hold on. Those are your own lyrics, so I know you can do that better than anyone else. Be the best you can be, regardless of what others think about you, and don't let anyone ever take that away from you. Not only are we proud, but your number one fan mom, Jay, is especially proud, and you should be too. Jay would want Louie to be a fan of Louie too. Hope you guys like that. I think I'm gonna put the text on Twitter and tag Louie in it, and maybe you guys can retweet it for me because it'd be really cool if he saw it. I wrote all of that last night and I almost cried while writing it. And I cried even more when I put the music on top of it and put the vocal effect. And what I wrote doesn't just have to relate to Louie. You guys could have related to it on a personal level as well. So hopefully that could have helped you guys out as well. But anyway guys, that is it for this video. Leave all your comments down below. And like always, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. What should they do, Harry? They should subscribe to this channel. There you go. Thanks so much, we'll see you soon.